Have you heard of a Hungarian barbecue? You probably haven't because we do not have barbecues. But when Hungarians roast bacon, it's as close to an American barbecue as it can get. I'm full-blooded Hungarian, so I thought that I would share with you this very old tradition. Some people say I am a hot-blooded Hungarian, but that's a story for another day. Roasting bacon in Hungarian means salonna shutesh. The word salonna, that means bacon, and shutesh, well, it can refer to baking, cooking, grilling, roasting, all kinds of things. So I kind of had a hard time coming up with an English uh, phrase because there isn't such thing. So first I was thinking maybe it's uh, bacon grilling, but I think bacon roasting is probably the most appropriate term. So the ingredients that you need are actually very simple, but the main ingredient could be a little bit difficult because when we mean bacon, we don't mean the American bacon. This is not the one we're talking about. This will not work. You need to get some bacon that is really thick. It looks like this. You have a lot of fat, um, not a whole lot of meat. This is even a little bit too much meat, but this will actually be okay. This is actually Hungarian bacon. And where can you get these? If you live in an area with a lot of European um, population, then find a store that's either Russian, um, Polish or German, you probably won't find a Hungarian store, but um, if you don't find any of these, maybe try a Filipino store or even an Asian store. Usually Russian stores have this kind of bacon, so that would be your best bet. If you can't find it, then you would just need to look online. But this is crucial because you need to have bacon that doesn't have that much meat on it because the whole point is that you're going to roast off most of the fat. Besides that, you need some old-fashioned bread. So the one I have here is just regular sourdough bread, which is fine. It would have been better if it's not sliced because you ideally want to have very thick slices, but this will work. The only other things you need are some vegetables and you want to cut them up as thinly as possible. Definitely onions, some radish, tomatoes, cucumber. Um, you could maybe find some red bell peppers or even yellow, that would actually be better. You will also need some sticks that are strong enough to hold the bacon and you have to sharpen the edges because you're going to stick these into the bacon. And the last thing you need to do is you need to make a fire. <laughs> You're gonna not hold it in the fire, just, just above it, and when it starts dripping, that's actually good because that means the fire will keep going, but when it drips, you put it over the bread and you just let the, the bacon. Can um, I take the radishes off of mine because I don't want radish. Fine, take it off. Whoa. Hopefully it will. Is it dripping yet or what? Come on, drip. Sitting here for two hours. <laughs> 
engem szeret. Jaj, de belenézek a szemébe, tüzegyújtok a szüveibe. Jaj, de belenézek a szemébe, tüzegyújtok a Well, it didn't quite turn out the way it was supposed to. I mean, the bacon had a little too much meat on it, so make sure when you get your bacon, it's almost all fat. But it was great, it still tasted great. It took forever, as you can see, it's pitch dark now. I mean, it's only 5.30, but it took almost an hour, I think. But this tradition is actually a social thing, so you're not just sitting there by yourself trying to roast that bacon. The whole point is that you're with friends and family and you're having fun while you do it. And in the end, like I said, it turned out pretty good. It tasted awesome. We ate the whole thing. So hopefully you can actually take on this tradition. That would be awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.